In tonight's Heart of the Valley, the cost of living with diabetes. It is an expensive illness that so many of our families are facing. Uh, tonight, Channel 5's Stephen Saabia takes a closer look at the potential financial burden some might face. It's a number that keeps rising. Your doctor appointments, your blood tests, your everyday testing, and your everyday supplies. And rising. Diabetes affects the body in so many other ways, and that raises your cost with diabetes. Gary Dew was diagnosed with diabetes in the year 2000. He says having insurance is key if you're diagnosed with diabetes. It has to be drug insurance, not just, that's not your hospital care insurance, that's a drug insurance that will keep that down. Even then, insurance doesn't cover all the costs. Do keeps track of everything he spends that goes towards diabetes. Last year with $5,000. That number is actually less than what the average person pays. According to the American Diabetes Association, a person with diabetes pays around $7,900 a year. That's like spending $21 a day. With today's gas prices, that's enough to nearly fill up a tank. You can enjoy a movie with a drink and popcorn. You can ride the McAllen Metro 21 times. You can test your luck with 10 Powerball tickets. If you save that much for one month, you'll roughly have $650. That's enough to cover rent in some places here in the valley. The numbers don't stop there. Diabetes means the cost is mostly to your health. You end up having problems with your arteries. They have to go in and put a stent in it, or uh, it affects the heart. It also affects the feet and causes numbing in the feet, which is an, another problem. These add to the overall annual cost. It's probably on uh, 10 to 12,000 that I pay along with my insurance company. The American Diabetes Association tells us the average total medical expense for diabetes and the other health problems it can cause is around $13,700. This isn't money Duke can spend freely. It gives him the ability to live freely. Steven Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 10.